Well, my parents always had a restaurant. Ah, uh, that's a oh. family. Yeah. Where? In South Korea. Oh. Yeah, we had, a, you know, almost like here, Noodle House. Oh, uh -huh. so you came up? Noodle House. School of hard knocks. Right. That's but, the best school. But, but my, my parents never want me to be in the restaurant business. Uh -huh. Well, anybody that's in the restaurant business. Especially like 50 years ago. Don't yeah. want their kids yeah. going into the restaurant business. It's like a coal miner. You know, no coal miner wants no, his kid down today. on the mines. I don't mind today. Yeah. Today, my, yeah, I wish I my kids, kids? Going to, yeah, I wish yeah. my kids go into you know, the restaurant business. Really? Wow. But not the, not the way before. Right. Because before it's very low end. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Now everybody knows the best chef in town. Nobody knows who's the best doctor, right? Right. Right. So. Well, us chefs do. Right. <laughs> 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 I need them. <laughs> So, uh, so are your kids going to have your name on the on the sign when they take Just over the restaurant? Just up to them, whatever no. they want to do. But uh, so far, nobody wants. No, right. I mean, no. They're still young, 16, mm -hmm. 18. 16, 18. My daughter, she started. Katie. Katie, I know Katie. She started cooking, seriously, maybe a, uh, a year ago. Oh. So she works here, and then she works at Willie's Wine Bar a couple right, nights a week. Right, right, right. She's talking school. She mm -hmm. wants to go to CIA. Right. Why don't Why don't her? Do you know how much CIA costs? Oh, I know, but hey, <laughs> she will pay I you went back. There, man. Come expensive. on, with the, with the interest to pay you back. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Put it, make it's it. You just, you just loan her money. You yeah, don't give her you, money. Yeah, you investment. Right? That's part of an investment. It's a tough road, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a tough job, man. Yeah, I know. It's not, it's not for everybody. That's why somebody says they want to cook, I usually try to talk them out of it. That's and what and I do. If, <laughs> if you can't, they might be and good if material. If they still want to do it, right. then they might be cut out for it. They Maybe either, God help them. They're either really <laughs> desperate or they're really into it. But uh, you know, I'll let her cook for another year, and if she's still doing it, then you yeah. Know. Well, both of my kids were in the restaurant business at one time when I had restaurants and everything. And and uh, I remember one time, some a uh, friend of mine saw my son working in the restaurant, and he said, "Oh, chip off the old block. You're bringing your son into the business." And I said, "No, I prefer to think of it as aversion therapy." And uh, ever <laughs> since then, my my kids. I don't even know what that means. That's well, it's just the more you know about the restaurant business, the less likely you want to be in right. it, right? So anyway, so my son's an engineer now, and my daughter's a social worker. But you know, when times are harder, they're between jobs or something. Go back to restaurants. You know, they know how to bartend. They know how to wait tables. And that's the one thing about cooking. Right. You Never will have always it. have a job. Right, you can always fall back. I don't care back where around. you go, you can always get a job right. somewhere. So. Good or bad, yes. Good or bad. <laughs> Good or bad. You, you worked your way through college? Uh, oh, I went, restaurant to, uh, I went to a couple of schools. Mm -hmm. I, I thought I wanted Got to Got thrown be, out of the first few, right? Well, do you want me to tell the story? <laughs> uh, I wanted to be, I wanted to do commercials. Huh? So I was going for marketing, but uh, it just, that, that classroom environment just wasn't, 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 exciting enough. Mm -hmm. So uh, funny story, I thought that maybe I wanted to be a restaurant front of the house guy. That's where the money is. Well, yeah, now you tell me. <laughs> uh, but it just seemed like a, a, a big party all the time. Mm -hmm. And I tried that for a couple of weeks. Man, I cannot be out front. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's That's tough. why Terry keeps you in the it's back. It's tough now, out front. Right? So they, they put me in the kitchen. And uh, at 23 years old, I was washing dishes. Mm -hmm. And then I knew that was it, man. I knew it. That's where I wanted to be. So then I went to went to school, CIA. And you climbed every rung of the ladder. And... Yeah, but you know, when you when you cook, you all know it, it's like this. You know, climbing the rung of the ladder is like it's real <laughs> slow. You know, and, like then, and then you know, twenty years later, it's like <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you work twelve bucks an hour for years. Yeah, for sure. But but the CIA was a good thing for you. It was great. It was a it was a fast track. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of gave you a good overview of what you don't know, mm -hmm. and then you got to go out there and uh, you still have to go out and um, work in the field. Oh, yeah. That's the only, oh, yeah, way, that's to the only way to learn. Do you ever have any hire any CIA graduates or have any? C I haven't. Can't afford them. Right. Well, that's, <laughs> I remember when I they. Can't afford them. <laughs> when I was in the restaurant business, I remember they would come and say hi. You know, and they'd show me their resume and their diploma and all this. And they say, I'm here to be your chef. And I said, Well, I've already got a chef, but I've already got a sous chef. Would you like to be a prep cook? Would you like to be a line cook or something? And they usually were a little bit indignant about that because of all the money they spent, uh, you know, getting that diploma, which was worth so much to them. Oh yeah. Fifty yeah. men. Forty. Fifty thousand dollars and it's eight bucks. Right. Yeah, but without some seasoning, without, without without really working in a restaurant, you got no business being a chef. Until you exactly. really, you got to pay your dues. You got to pay your dues. I tell everybody a spirit entered my body at twenty. I don't know. Just instantly be, decided to open a bakery. And you couldn't get to an exorcist fast. So <laughs> no, I just I decided to open a bakery when I was actually twenty, and I hitchhiked. 
to LA and my partner was um, Jewish and so he had an old grandpa who worked in a Jewish bakery in West LA and they made bagels and bialis and monkey bread and so mm. we got we got in there and they just start showing us how to do stuff and I ended up doing bagels wholehearted bagels yeah wholehearted bakery and so the and then we so we had pizza and bagels and we learned to do the bagels and you wrap them like this and roll it like that and lay them out and then boil them in water and then we started doing all these little fairs and cutting them in half and putting cream cheese in them and that was in 1976 or something Long time. So, I know so that and then the baking sort of led to um, you know meeting John Ash and I I uh, was actually roller skating in Golden Gate Park and broke my wrist and um, I I couldn't do the dough sheeting anymore because my my arm was in a sling and so I thought well I'm I'm too young what I need to do is I need to go get a regular job so the courthouse cafe was opening up on you know railroad I mean downtown. And I went in and I filled out my application with my left hand, and I got a job as a, I was three dollars and seventy-five cents an hour for prep. And so what I do is I get all my prep work done, <clears throat> and then I make desserts. And so that was Patricia Utterman wrote me up in nineteen, I think it must have been seventy-eight, and it was like she compared the desserts to Europe and all that. So that sort of was the first Long opening, yeah. And then I just apprenticed with John for five years. And then I opened my own restaurant. That? Was, he wasn't at John Ash. No, that was the no, courthouse no, cafe. Courthouse cafe. So that was his? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh, in in he was it, a chef. And yeah. He was the pastry oh. chef. Mm -hmm. A lot of famous people came out. Mm -hmm. It was like the Chez Panisse of, wow. of Santa Rosa back in mm -hmm. the. Uh, Back in the 70s. Oh. Yeah, and my favorite, I always tell John, my favorite uh, line was when I went in, we had to do like a, a quiche plate, you know, and the quiche would come out and then we'd have to do all this fruit and it was like... That was cutting edge in the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so this fruit comes out, I do my first fruit plate and I put it on there and he, he takes it, he goes... Ah. And puts it on the floor. He goes, "There's no depth. There's no depth." <laughs> so I always tease him about that. So now I'm telling kids today, just told them yesterday, there's no debt. There's no debt. <laughs>